Okay. I told you I was going to show you what is in my RV, and the first thing in here is you, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, I do make an appearance once in a while. And what a fun place to be. <laughs> so I want to show you what we have in our RV. And we haven't stuffed it a uh, little at a time. I'm putting what I need into it. But we have some really fun stuff. I had some friends tell me that, oh, Jennifer, just put what you need from your house into your RV. And then when you need it in your house, replace it. And I'm like, no, I want the new stuff to go in my RV because I want everything to feel fun and fresh and I don't want to put any old stuff in here. I just want it new and fresh. So anyway. Uh, and I think, is she referring to me that she doesn't want to put no, old stuff no, in here? I don't mean here? you, I don't mean you. <laughs> I, I'm going to start with my um, Julie and and Ellie gave me these, and these are from Anthropology, and they are really, really nice slippers, and I'm going to keep those in the RV. I'm just going to work my way around this side of the RV, and I remembered something. In this drawer, I've got some notebooks. That these are from Pendleton, and every time we go on a trip, we are going to log it, and if we have guests stay with us, we're going to have them sign our guest book. So we'll use them for different things. I need a nice pen. I don't have a nice pen. Uh, i got a pen, but I, I want to get me a good nice pen. Okay, Let's come on around. Um, the pillows, this pillow and this pillow is from Wayfair. Uh, let's talk for a minute, okay? Pendleton. I love Pendleton. I've, I've, I've been a fan of Pendleton my entire life. And this is the coolest blanket and I don't want to take it out of its little cover, but it's on cold chilly nights when we're sitting outside, I can take it out of this. But otherwise I like to keep it in here because it's so cute. But it's just a little throw blanket. It's wool. It's a very nice blanket. Every time we go to a national park, I'm going to collect another National Park blanket. This blanket is Yellowstone National Park. So Chad, when we go to another park, we're going to get us another blanket. And I, I, I don't know if you buy them at the park, but I know you can get them at Pendleton. So I'm gonna leave a link to all of this stuff in the description below, at, at least all the stuff that I can do. I will leave a link and I just, I have become well, I would say we're we're almost friends. I don't know what you. <laughs> yeah. Well, the thing I like about Pendleton, uh, several things, is that they're colorful. Yeah. They're fun designs to look at. They are warm. They are such a high quality that they will we'll, never wear out. Yeah, we'll have this blanket. We well, we'll have it. You now, this here is our death blanket, death wrap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And they'll be handed down to one of our children, or grandchildren for that matter. They, they will last a long time. The shirts, the Pendleton shirts that I wear, uh, Bo has got one or two of my shirts that I had when I was younger that were smaller. And so you can hand them down to... Yeah. Uh, well, and they're so easy to work with. I just love them. I love Pendleton. I can't say enough good about them. This is the cutest thing, though. I thought this was fun for the grandkids when the grandkids come. Are you watching me, Chad? Mm -hmm. Okay. I thought this was fun to get for the grandkids. These little, I haven't even used them yet. Little checker game. And the grandkids are always getting into our cards. So, grandkids, grandpa. <laughs> grandkids, Grandpa, these, this is Grandma and Grandpa's cards, and you kids stay the heck out of them. Well, and of course we've got Chad's stash of movies here. Hang them high, Clint Eastwood. I've shown you my pantry, but I'm going to show you again. We're getting ready to go on another trip. <laughs> Just stuff. Let's see, 
Just got white towels here. I still need to get some nice dividers for my drawers, but I've got some new things to come out here. I've showed you these mice and knives. They are very sharp, and I'm happy to put it out here. I can't wait to get some more of them. They've got a smaller one that I want to get. And just these. A lot of these drawers are empty. Got a little. This did come from the house because I have too many. I brought that out. Um, let's see got my I need to get those dividers again like I said and put my plastic wear in there and over here I bought these from um, Amazon and they're melamine plates and dishes I just think they are so cute fun and these came from Smith and Edwards we love Smith and Edwards, and these are just the uh, enamel enamelware. I don't know what they call it, they're, but they're pretty. They're fun. And I'm gonna keep my um, in this drawer all my paper products. I'll keep in here, and I like it there because it's just all right here. I didn't want to use the cupboards so much; they're a little harder to get into. And I've got plenty of drawer space, so I'm just gonna use the drawers for that extra things there. I had to laugh when I came out here and started putting things away because Chad had already beat me out here. So this is his drawer. <laughs> that and the Clint Eastwood drawer. Let's see. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, Chad's speaker. Yeah. <laughs> we have speakers in here, but he likes that one. What else? Want to see my fridge? Like I said, we're getting ready to go camping. Got to have our chocolate, butter, lunch meat. Not have, a whole lot. Have you got the ice cream in the freezer yet? No. Nothing. Nothing. We're going to start. <laughs> Bonnie always makes extra. Bonnie always invites us. And if it sounds better to us, we'll go with Bonnie. Okay. Again, oh my goodness. Pendleton, thank you so much for all of these beautiful things. I love Pendleton. I've already told you that. Um, these towels, Ellie's got a set of them, and I, I just really like them. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I brought some stuff to do our toes. Olivia wants to rub my feet this weekend, so I thought I'd bring some stuff for her to do that with. I need to get me a mirror to go up here. We're somewhere here because I can't fix the back of my hair without it. Um, well, when we stop places we'll take things out and set them up but when we're traveling that has to stay down. And so Chad gets that covered and I get the rest. There's my makeup bag and my hair supplies and I just bought the little the little ones for that. Same with down here. I want to get me another one of these for the trailer, but I don't have. They're kind of expensive. So a little at a time, I'll add things to my list to put out here. Come on in. Oh, you guys. If you have an RV, you are going to love this. And if you've never heard, there's two companies here in Utah. If you've never heard of them outside of Utah, Oh, they're amazing. One is Betty's Beds, and the other one is Minky Couture. And both of those companies are awesome, and the people, I just, I think a lot of them. Um, this is the Minky Blanket, and it is not only, well, I bought, I bought my girls a Minky Blanket, I think when they first came out, or close yeah. to it, about 15 years ago. And... I mean, they were really excited because that was a hot item to get for Christmas, but they still have their minky blankets. I saw the girls post a picture the other day and that blanket that I gave one of the girls was in it and it still looked brand new. So they last a long time and they are super warm. Um, I bought this 
from the pillow at, let's see, Wayfair. And this came from TJ Maxx. It's a scarf that goes around your head, but I think it's really cool on my bed. <laughs> so I'm gonna put it there, I'm gonna lay it out. So when I sit <laughs> on the bed, I don't get my bedding all dirty. I'll just sit on that. Okay, this is, this is awesome here. This bed is, here, let me show you. Well, I've already unzipped it. Okay, I've already unzipped this bed. So, let's pull it back. This bed unzips. And the, if you've ever had an RV, you know that they are a pain in the rear to make. But this slips. This is a one. This is one piece now, but you can unzip the whole thing, and the top comes off, or you can just keep it zipped across the bottom. And that's what I like to do: is keep it zipped across the bottom. But look, that bottom sheet fits right on the bed, just like that. And then it's got this little flap that hangs out on the side, right there. And then I don't zip the side but if you've got little kids and then you want the little kids to make their bed then this just stays tucked in and all the little kid has to do is zip up his bed like that isn't that cool, that really cool. So I will be sure and leave the link in the description below and then you can't smell these but these are real roses these roses will last at least a year and I don't know how they do it because you can smell you can smell the, the roses and they are real and they're just they're beautiful so those make really nice gifts or it I don't know I just wanted my bedroom to feel a little more girly <laughs> <laughs> not so campy like so we won't be putting a TV in the bedroom or watching Clint Eastwood movies in here. The other thing that I want to show you is I'm going to keep swimming suits and just little things out here. This is my underwear drawer. I won't open that. But my pajamas and loungewear I'll leave out here. Um, the same with Chad. Do you have anything in your drawers? Yeah. So we're just going to keep our drawers full out here and so when we come home from camping I'm going to wash our clothes and bring it right back out and leave them in show our dirty hamper and for right now <laughs> I haven't decided where my dirty hamper is but Chaz says let's just use this I'm like oh maybe I don't know well, there's nothing in there so I oh, know but I kind of want to get like a like a mesh bag or a basket or something and put our laundry in it's out of sight out of mind <laughs> out of your mind it's out of your mind um Oh, I want to show you in here. Same with this. Like we're gonna we're gonna keep the uh, jackets in here, both of us. So he's got one, I've got one, and just a, a few clothes. I want to keep our boots and some hats out here. So hopefully, each time we go on a trip we'll get to pack lighter and lighter. Have I missed anything? I'm sure I've missed a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I can't think. This is what we call the trunk. You're probably not real interested in what's in our trunk, but I'm gonna show you anyway. We've got an extra table and some chairs and our blocks and I've got a rug and I've got my brooms over there I don't know all the hoses just all the stuff this little fireplace does heat the room up well I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and if you have give it a thumbs up and we are going to film Tomorrow, I don't know when I'll put it up, but it, we're going to film our trip and hopefully you come along and enjoy it with us. So thanks for watching and we will see you in our next video. Bye-bye. Thank you, cameraman.
Not a problem. My <laughs> pleasure. See you later. Bye bye. bye. I'm debating whether or not to get a rug, any kind of a rug, I don't know, like something. Would you put a rug down there if you were me? Chad, he always just says no, but oh. that's because he's a tightwad. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't need, the, the, the more that you don't bring in here, I think the more we're gonna enjoy it. Okay, well, I uh, will try and keep I'm it to a, a minimum. I'm not a minimalist, but you know, I've learned that you know, small spaces are hard to keep clean, and so the less you have, the nicer it's going to be. Oh yeah, by the way, I've also got some really cool Pendleton mugs. Did I tell you I liked Pendleton? <laughs>